up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Friends, today we are doing our monthly silkworm feeding video. And let me just tell you, I am super excited about today's silkworm feeding because I got my hands on some massive silkworms. I mean, look at these guys, they're huge. Most of the time, they're not even half this size. I will say, if there's one thing that's nice about the fall and cooler weather, it's that the silkworms get bigger and healthier. They just don't do well in that summer heat being transported and shipped to different places. So you really get good quality silkworms in the winter. Quick recap, I do silkworm feeding videos on my channel because these animals are incredibly nutritious to be offered to your pets as feeders. These feeder insects are loaded with magnesium, iron, vitamin B groups, and calcium. They have plenty of phosphorus in the right levels balanced with that calcium, and we love to see that. What's also fascinating is that silkworms contain an enzyme called serapeptase, and serapeptase reduces inflammation in the body, can lower cholesterol, and more. So not only are they providing nutritional benefits to your pets, they also provide some form of natural medicinal benefit to your animals as well. It's win-win if you ask me. So I mean, can you honestly not think of a more logical reason to promote that your pets should eat these? on my channel? I think not. And before we get into the video, I wanna quickly say again, my name is Dion, I make videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future uploads. All right, everybody, let's get started with Basil down here. He loves silkworms. I'm sure he's gonna be quite receptive. Basil, buddy, what are you doing hanging like that, man? Is that uh, relaxing for you? All right. Good sir, I come bearing gifts. If you are open to receiving them, look what I got for you. Here, Basil. Come on over here. Oh my goodness, what the? Woo Gross. Dude, pulling some sabzy moves over there. Don't be worried, it's just me, man. Holy. Okay, yikes. That's kind of gross. Hey, this fogger just kicked on. Weird timing. Basil, you ready, buddy? Here you go. Check it out. Basil. Come on, buddy. This way. Is a handsome lizard. Okay, guys, so here he comes, He's checking things out. Here we go. Got it. <laughs> what are these weird positions, dude? Look at those teeth. Good job, buddy. Awesome. What a life. Look at this guy, just chilling like a villain in his water. Next up, we got E.T., one of my black-breasted leaf turtles, the Geomita Spengleri. Hey, buddy, you want a silkworm? Look at this. He loves silkworms. Watch how he's gonna react when he looks up and sees that. He's like, oh yeah. ET, are you excited? Do you want this? He's like, yes, please, can I have it? Usually I do make him walk around a bit for it. So we're gonna stick to that. All right, buddy, here we go. Come on. Oh, that's one active turtle. Yeah. Oh, geez. There goes the clean water. All 
right, well, uh, enjoy. Hey, Yoda. This is one of my females. Do you want a silkworm? I don't know what it is, but most of my other leaf turtles have no interest in silkworms. We'll try Yoda, but I'm not convinced. Yeah, I don't know what it is. They always do that, too. I'm not convinced she's going to take it. This weird blinky thing. It's like they're half interested. Can't really decide. <laughs> Why? It's yours if you want it. I'm going to take that as a no. This is where a super worm would be in her belly already. Weird. Well, guys, I can assure you that the toke geckos are certainly not going to let us down as far as eating. So let's feed them now. See what Tiki's up to. All right, we got some juicy silkworms here. Tiki. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Want a silkworm? Come on over. Good job. If you follow me on Instagram, which you totally should, you'll know that I tried this thing, sort of like a stimulation, if you will, where I placed a vine in their enclosure, and then we set it up in such a way that the animals would have to tightrope across a branch to eat some food. So let's try that now and see if Tiki is interested. Well done, buddy. Oh, okay. Say we go a bit further back. Give him an extra challenge here. That was too easy. He just jumped to it. You got it. Keep going. Oh! You got it. Keep going. Oh! Yeah. Yikes! I messed that up. Oh shoot! I mean, I gotta save some of these silkworms for everyone else and for at night. So that's enough for you, I guess. We tried. Guys, we're gonna feed Sabzi now, but I want to take full advantage of her being in hiding. She takes afternoon naps down there. Gonna hang up the first toy. Oh man, I blew it. She's here and she knows. I okay, good luck to me. <laughs> Let's set this thing up quickly. We got a toy set up. All right, Sabzi, you ready? You gonna come out? Yeah, you're tired, aren't you? You've been snoozing all day. What a life you live, eh? All right, come on. You got a silkworm here. I, I brought you. I brought you snacks. Go, go, go have a look. There we go. Good girl. Now she knows. Yeah, those tree monitor nails are getting pretty long, guys. Let me tell you, they mess you up when you're uh, holding them. How was that? Is that good? Is that good? You enjoy that? Mmm. Wonderful. Alright, let's give you some more. We're not done here. All right, it's time for the bird nest, which is another form of enrichment for the tree monitors. Put a silkworm in there too. There you go, girl. I mean, they've pretty much got this one figured out. They uh, used to take a bit longer to check it out, but now she's like, oh, food. I like the bird nest, she says. Yep, it's a happy lizard. You got it, girl. Well done. toy and the bird nest and uh, hope you enjoyed your snack. 
we'll move on and see if some other animals want silkworms. Talk to you later, Sabs. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all if you could keep one type of feeder insect as a pet more so than a feeder to feed your pets, which one would you choose and why? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll give you a comment at heart. We can hopefully engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thanks. Once in a while, I turn the angle of the output for my canister filter in such a way that it doesn't run down the glass but actually cascades into the water just to help with the oxygenation and flow and such. But anyhow, this is the Shinisaurus crocodilurus, Chinese crocodile lizard enclosure. It's growing in like crazy since the last time I trimmed it. And Rexy is hiding back here. So I'm gonna see if we can convince her to come out for a silkworm. She is shy, all my Shinis are shy. Shyer than usual. If you haven't seen my update on the mail, check out the link up above. Still haven't seen a meat, but I need to weigh him soon and see what the dealio is. The flip side of things is we are going into winter, so it's possible that he's just going into brumation and not interested in eating, but I'm still worried about it. And I think that's fair. So anyhow, let's see what Rexy does. All right, Rexy, if you're willing to eat this, got a big silkworm right there for you. Rexy, come on. Okay. Oh, now you're coming out, come on. Here we go. Don't be shy. It's like one of your favorite things in the world to eat. You're telling me you're not gonna come out of hiding for it? Yeah, come on. Come on out, you little T-Rex. Come on. You're right there, a little bit further. Yay, she's actually, oh, I don't wanna jinx it. Now she's gonna go all the way back. Rexy. <laughs> uh, hey, at least you saw Shinny. It's been a long time. Alright guys, so here's Rambo, looking handsome as ever. Pingu's down here, we know that she loves her silk, so let's see if she'll come out for a silkworm. Pingu, look what I got for you. Here you come, I know you're gonna come. Come on over girl. Hi. Look at that face. Here. She's gonna go for it. me again. That's me too. That's also me. Pingu. Here. There. <laughs> Sorry silkworm but girls gotta eat. Check it out. You think that's too big for a crested gecko? Guess again. Can definitely handle it. Friends, look at all these toke geckos. There's just so many back there. We got Torch. One of our offspring here too. A lot of tokes. Look at all these tokes. Got a few on the back wall. One over here. Torch is over here. Another offspring. Let's see if Torch wants one. Torch, come on. Good girl. Good job. 
always so important to make sure your breeding female has the best nutrition possible. Good girl. Got a handsome juvenile toke gecko here. All my toke geckos, you know, they get some conditioning. Tiki, why are you eyeing your kid like that? <laughs> Alright, you gonna get in or not? A lot of toke geckos coming out to see what's going on. Oh. You want it? Whoever's brave enough to come for it gets it. Tiki, you had a bunch earlier during the day, so I would really like one of your kids to get it. Come on, buddy. Over here. Right here. Like, I better take this somewhere safe where nobody can take it from me. My whole family is gonna want it. You're gonna need some, yep, some toke thrashing. Gotta expect that. Good job, little buddy. <laughs> That's a happy toke right there, everyone. A feed. One of the toke twins, the last one I own. Here you go. It's for you. Go for it. Girl. Guys, Tabo and Leela are out. I'm gonna see here if I uh, can get Leela to eat a silkworm on camera, hopefully. I'll give it a try. Okay, Leela. Take a silkworm. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> that, uh, that didn't take long. <laughs> I thought it might be harder to get her to eat than that, but clearly she was interested. Okay. A happy lychee. Good girl. Perfect. And you, Mr. Jabs, I know you never will have them, so that's cool. But you got to go back inside so I can close the door. <laughs> Before we end today's video, I'd like to take a quick moment to sincerely thank my patrons over on the Patreon platform. As you already may or may not know, the Reptiliatus Patreon program offers you a whole skew of perks, inside scoops and sneak peeks, contests, giveaways, and more. You guys get discounts on merch and a direct line of communication with me. When you sign up, I give you a shout out in an upcoming video too, to show my appreciation for your choice to contribute. For today's video, I'm thanking my newest channel patron, Erica, thank you so much for becoming a new channel patron. I look forward to chatting with you more soon on the platform. And for those of you also interested in learning about more on how you can support the channel, you can check out the link down below in the video description to the Reptiliatus Patreon program. Thank you so much for everybody's support. Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's silkworm feeding video. It's always a blast getting to show you guys the... <laughs> Let's try that again. Sorry, little buddy. It's always a blast getting to show you the importance or benefit of using these feeder insects in your weekly feeding routine for your animals. And I love having the opportunity to show you as many of my pet reptiles as possible. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you see the benefit of silkworms. I can't wait to see you all in an upcoming video. That all being said, if you wanna see more silkworm feeding videos, check out the playlist up above. And don't forget to subscribe and comment. And if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up would mean the world to me. Awesome everyone, take care and have a wonderful weekend.